Tony Ferguson has officially lost to um Bobby Green. I believe it was a um a submission loss, so he got submitted. I believe in the second or third round. Um, to be honest with you, th this fight was actually kind of sad to watch, especially um the last end of the fight where we saw his um body just go limp. I mean, he got he got put into a DAS choke, and it's ironic that he got put into a DAS choke because a DAS choke was usually um Tony Ferguson's signature move. It was a move that he he was actually kind of famous for, and what happened was that it literally happened to him. He was literally the victim of his own a dar uh, choke that really got 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 him to um submit himself. The one thing I'd say about Tony Ferguson is um he he he's he's incredibly tough because uh it doesn't matter if his if his arm's about to go limp and Charles Oliveira's about to rip his arm off or if um he's getting beaten pillar to post by Justin Gaethje, the guy will never give up. He will never tap out. He'll never he'll rather black out than tap out, and that's exactly what happened. Um, literally, Bobby Green got him into a um, submission hold, and what hap actually happened was um, he refused to tap, and he then he just blacked out. And um, it, it was difficult to watch, to be honest with you. It was one of the most uh, um, brute when we saw the way his body just went limp, and um, his legs were failing about, f flailing about. It, it just did not look good. But before that fight, I'll be honest. The first round, um, he did have a bit of success. He did manage to drop Bobby Green. Um, and to be honest with you, Tony Ferguson did look sm slow and cumbersome and he did try to move around and make himself as awkward as he possibly can be. But, um, I, I just think at this point it's done. Like Tony Ferguson is finished in every conceivable way possible. Like if you can't beat Bobby Green, it's one thing losing to Charles Oliveira who became champion, Justin Gaethje, who fought like a monster in his last fight, who knocked out Dustin Poirier, um, losing to, uh, Benil Dariush, who's a decent fighter. Uh, losing to the likes of um, se several like Michael Chandler, who again was a decent fighter, but losing to Bobby Green, I think that's a nail in the coffin at this point. Um, th there's no way he can come back from this, and the losses he's been taking, he's lost in every conceivable way possible. When he lost to Justin Gaethje, he lost to an opponent by striking. When he lost to Charles Oliveira, Charles Oliveira dominated in in the submission game and in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. When he lost to uh, Michael Chandler, Michael Chandler knocked him out with one shot, and now he's been uh, blacked out by um, he he's been like submitted and blacked out by Bobby Green. So literally, all of his losses are in different ways. So that that means he's completely finished. Because if a fighter loses in one method, like let's say he gets knocked out, it, there could be a chance that um, he could win his next fight via submission. And that, that, that when the ground and pound was happening, it looked like Tony Ferguson was on a on a verge of doing a kevin lee which was when, when kevin lee was a ground and pounding him back in the day he put himself in a position where he managed to submit his opponent but at this point i, I just think he's completely finished now Th there's nothing he can do to uh revamp his career and I, I think um the ufc should just cut him for his own health now i mean it's six losses now six losses and um he, the guy's completely finished it was kind of sad um to be fair though midway through the fight when the eye poke happened he didn't look great up to that point but I think the eye poke changed the entire trajectory of the fight because after the eye poke happened, he, he just wasn't the same ever again. I mean, um, it's ironic because a similar thing happened when he fought RDA. Uh, this was when he was in his prime. RDA was having quite a bit of success, but then an eye poke happened and then Tony Ferguson ended up dominating. And that I think that was the biggest uh, win of his career. So from that perspective, it's ironic. Um, the um, He was known for a DAS choke. And um, let's be real, um, Let's be real, uh, Bobby Green managed to dash choke him. And he, the reason why he had his biggest victory against RDA, like one of the contributing factors was the o eye poke as well that he gave to RDA by accident. And that's the reason why, in a weird way, he's lost his uh, his his last fight against Bobby Green. But I think at this point, they, they have to cut him. I mean, if the UFC don't cut him and they keep putting him in fights, he's just not going to quit. That's just not his nature. Um, but yeah, it is sad watching this. It's really sad. But tell me what you think below. Uh, what do you think Tony Ferguson should do? I think at this point, it, it, the writing has been on the wall for years. But at this point, losing to Bobby Green is just it's just too much. I think the only way, um, I think Tony Ferguson is going to literally do uh, what Fingy did. What's, what's his name? Um, uh, I forgot his name. The two-time champion, the guy that fought uh, um, BJ Penn. He he's gonna go on a t um losing skid of like eleven fights and then eventually the UFC is gonna cut him and then 
eventually up. He might go to a different, smaller promotion, or he might just keep going. But um, yeah, I think I think a fight like Tony Ferguson has to be saved. Like he he's just never gonna quit. That's just not in, in his nature. Um, but at this point, I, th I think even he knows the writing's on the wall now. I think he needs to quit. So yeah, that's just my opinion. Tell me your opinion and uh, like and subscribe to the channel. I've got a lot more content coming your way. Peace.